Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you my top eight tips uh, for when I'm using Procreate for digital graphic recording. So this is my go-to app whenever I'm taking visual notes on my iPad. All right, let's dive in. Number one is the project canvas mode. This is really the, the biggest thing for me in this app. I'm able to share my screen via a web conferencing platform like Zoom. So I can share my screen via AirPlay on the iPad and use this project canvas mode so that participants see one view of the full screen and I can really see my own view where I can be zooming in and out while they're just seeing the main uh, full screen, which is huge uh, because you can be moving all around and they're not seeing that. So where you would find that is up here in this actions icon, the little wrench, and then you would go over to preferences and it's one of your preferences. It's the project canvas mode and I have it on right now. You might see it turned off, in which case you can turn it on and it says here, connect a second display via AirPlay or cable to project your canvas only. So you'll click okay and then people can see your full screen while you're doing whatever you want on it really helpful for when you're doing digital graphic recording. Number two, the quick color swap mode that Procreate offers is really helpful for when I need to change something quickly. So that's where you can alternate between two colors up here in the color palette. So if I click on this, all of my colors pop up. Right now I have this nice magenta selected. So if I want to alternate between the magenta and this nice uh, light blue, I'd select that light blue, and if you just press and hold on that color icon, it will switch back to the previous color. So if I click and hold on it again, it'll go to the blue. So helpful for when you're trying to capture things quickly and you just need to have your colors ready to go. The other nice option here is the color fill. So that's where if I want to use almost like a paint bucket tool, I can quickly fill the color of any of the things that I have on my, on my canvas. So I'm going to just drag the color over onto the item that I'd like it to fill, and then it changes the color. Pretty cool, really quick, great for when you're on the move and you need to quickly change a color. All right, number three is altering the canvas size without having to start a new canvas. This is a really important one whenever I'm taking notes and I start to feel like I'm starting to run out of room. I start to get stressed out. So the fact that they included this is uh, a really big, really big thing for me. Uh, so the place where you would change your canvas, if you start to feel like you're running out of room, you would go up to this gear icon for your actions and it's under canvas and you would say crop and resize. So it'll take you out here, you'll see your full canvas and then you can drag it and make it bigger or you can make it smaller maybe if you have too much, uh, too much space and wanna really condense it down. So then you would click done and it would adjust your canvas. Pretty cool, love this. Number four is the brush customization feature that Procreate has. So. If you like to geek out on brushes, this app is fantastic for that. If you click on the brushes here, Procreate has a lot of options and you can download it or create your own brushes. Uh, if you click on one of them, you are in the settings for that particular brush. So you have all these options down below and you can actually test writing with it to see how it is. So if you change, uh, if you change something, you can just test up here and see how it looks. Number five, so you can really easily make perfect shapes in Procreate uh, by just holding down uh, on your screen after making the shape. So I'm gonna start drawing a circle. And once I get to the end, I'm just gonna hold and you'll see that it made a really nice circle. If I want it to be perfect, I just press and hold with another finger on the screen and I can increase and decrease the size of that circle. This is a lifesaver for me. I use circles all the time and I'm not very good at drawing them perfectly, so this is really great. It also applies to drawing lines, so you can drag a line across and then just press and hold and you can move it around. If you tap one finger down, then you can move it around at fingers, so 
really nice if you want to snap it into place at a certain angle. You can also make triangles. So you're just pressing and holding and really useful quick shapes uh, tool. Number six, the time-lapse replay mode. I love this. I love being able to see how my, my piece has evolved since starting it. And Procreate has a built-in time-lapse replay. So again, you go up to your actions and then you'll click the video button and you'll see a time-lapse recording option and a time-lapse replay on top. And you'll wanna make sure that the time-lapse recording is turned on. Uh, so that it's taking the video so when you click on time-lapse replay might need to zoom out a little bit But then you'll be able to see how you went through creating the, this particular canvas And so I love this feature. I really enjoy being able to see how the canvas has evolved Number seven the selection tool So if you need to move copy cut or paste anything that you have on your canvas you can use this tool up here. It kind of looks like an S. And if you click on that, you're able to select the part of your note that you want to move. So I'm moving this little speech bubble around. And then you'll click on this arrow right next to it, which is your move tool. And then you're able to move it around. So my color is on a different layer. That's why the color is not moving with it. So if I want to move the, the both layers, the layer with the color, and the outline, there's actually a way of doing that in Procreate. So I have to go over to my layers and I have to select both. So this is where my text is and my color is on this layer here. So I have my text selected and for the color layer, I'm just gonna slightly, I just slightly moved it over to the right and it selected. So you'll see both of them are selected now. And then I'll just tap out of my layers, go back to my selection tool and if I move around that again and click on my move tool when I'm ready, it will then move both layers. So that's really nice. If you are making things on separate layers, you can still move them together. Oh, this has saved my butt so many times. Number eight, the ability to add text to your canvas. So I do most of my notes by hand, but sometimes I like to put in some text. So you'll go to your actions and the plus sign you'll see you have the ability to import photos, files, and then there's the option to add text. So we'll click on that and the keyboard will pop up. So we'll type something in. And once you have your word in there, you wanna hit edit style. And that's where this uh, whole new uh, toolbar will pop up with fonts and styles and designs. So we'll choose a font here, make it bold and maybe underline it. You can also outline the text, which is really fun to do. So a lot of features here, great option to pop pieces of text out on your canvas. All right, so sometimes people ask me, is there anything you don't like about this app? And while I pretty much have only good things to say about this app, the one thing that sometimes is an issue is the resolution. So if I'm doing any uh, illustration work that needs to be really nice and clean, or I need to scale it and print it at a, at a much bigger size, I wouldn't really use this app because it's you're working with pixels here. So it starts to get really pixelated. So if I'm doing any illustration work, I would probably use Adobe Draw. Uh, and this app I mostly use for digital graphic recording. All right, overall, this is my go-to app for digital graphic recording and hand lettering. I love that they continue to develop and improve this. The reasons I just went over, it works really well. A visual note taker, doing sketch notes, or doing them live, and having to project your screen so that everyone can see you creating your notes in real time. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you want this overview, these notes that I created, I have included a link down in the description of this video and I'll be making more tutorials on the apps that I use and other techniques for visual note taking so if you'd like to stay tuned please hit that bell icon and you'll get notified when I have new videos. Alright, see you next time.